this thing I'm doing for you guys. I one of my friend, he has a mentorship also. You 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 are going to know the guy. Oh, I don't want to mention his name here. He is student, like he only talked about uh market structure, range, liquidity, and entry. But you could believe that market structure, it was once they have the market structure class once and it was one hour video after that one hour video you have to move to another topic if you like understand if you like you understand now you sabi but yeah me have dedicated like two weeks right now to, to, to explain market structure with different type of structures so this thing i'm doing for you eh? make you now more you okay so let's continue let's proceed uh we have something like this again oh i'm sorry let me delete this let me start from here okay This is going to be like magic to you all, but let me label it. Um, Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm not fast about it. Like, I'm not getting myself. So just manage the way I, I explain tonight. Okay. And. Uh, Sorry, yeah, and uh, this is Thomas. You couldn't see. And uh, you might be respecting yourself from here. Have a break of structure, break of structure, a break of structure, and a break right here. 
Okay. This is another liquidity. Okay, now let's proceed. Let me try unmute some people. Sorry, 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 sorry. Allow to speak. Allow to speak. Okay, so now looking at this market structure, I this is complex, very, very complex because you will be confused of what to use right here. Like you, you'll be confused. Now looking at this, we have lower high, lower low. We have a break. Let's say we have a break. Yeah, let's say we have a break. Let's say we have a break of this structure. Can you buy? I'm coming, please. Let's say we have a break of this structure. Okay. And we have this BMS to the downside. Looking at this structure, we know we'll be selling, right? Yes, we have a break of structures to the downside. And look at this eye. Paul, we don't have inducements. We don't have inducements, of course. You know, I told you I want price to do something like like this, come this way, break this piece, then use this place as inducements for this. But well, yeah, in this aspect, we don't have inducements. So price came here and mitigated. Fine, it's greater this liquidity. Yeah. Price mitigated here. And what started selling, then it got there and creates equal low and broke structure. After breaking this structure, many traders will be trapped here because they feel like this was the point of it. This was the, was the level that caused the break of the structure. Yeah, so many traders will be trapped here. But mind you, don't forget you have liquidity. We'll be getting to liquidity soon. So on Monday, we'll be talking about supply and demand don't forget you have liquidity this equal low because looking at this place it is like a trend line so some traders will be expecting price to buy from here and what they are creating is a trend line liquidity they will break down and move so don't forget you have liquidity you have liquidity yeah then the point of interest here will be what price is going to probably what use to continue what the trend this liquidity very very simple if you understand your market structure you said you will know this place is a trap for you because this is a liquidity so the uh, last point of interest is going to be your what your point of interest is a valid one because from year to year we have a trading range from this low to this high and don't forget this external liquidity has been cleared don't forget this external liquidity. This price, this place is not meant to be clear. Price is not meant to clear this place because this is lower high. So the scenario when we are in, in, in bearish, we are expecting price to come and break lower low for us, not lower high. But price has broken uh lower high. So it has cleared this, it has turned this as what external liquidity. And don't forget from external liquidity to what to internal liquidity. So this place is going to storm to the world to the major low to the major liquidity that we are not expecting price to read this place is going to turn to the strong low because this low as what caused the break of this eye this low was the one that caused the break of this eye so this eye got broken through this what through the help of this low so this low has turned towards a strong low because it has already broken this what this eye so this has turned to external liquidity why whatsoever range or Whatsoever trend we have inside, we talk to our what internal range liquidity for a proper point of interest. So now 
price rated is high, we have a break of structure to the upside market. Then we have internal liquidity. Then price bought came back to mitigate the proper one. Now, this year, this scenario here, some trader will categorize this place as inducement just for them to save from here because they'll be like, this place wanted liquidity and move. Okay, after this, okay, fine, let's assume this place wanted this eye. Does it break its structure? No. It must break this structure. It must break this low because this low was not that caused the break of this eye. This low as strong as stand as what? The what? The strong load here. Yeah. So after I wanted this eye, let's say it's haunted it. We need this trend coming back to come and break this structure for us. Then we can what? Look for sale. But at this scenario, you saw a break of structure and you did not see. You see, you, you saw this break of structure and this trend did not break to the downside. And you saw internal liquidity and you know this place has turned to the what? Major low. And you are expected to sell from here. It is not done. Because you don't have a break. So there are some traders that will be selling from here. They will categorize the place as what? Inducement. And price is going to what? React to them and move. Now looking at this, this is what? Liquidity. Internal liquidity for another point of interest inside. For another what? Point of interest inside. So price price has read this what? External range, from external range to internal range. So price will come back and read this internal range liquidity for another point of interest inside. Then it will continue the trend. I'm coming please. It is going to continue what? The trend. Now let's say price mitigated something rare. Yes, don't forget that this place is going to turn back to the internal liquidity for this movement. Do not forget. Always have this in your head. Always. Always, please. Now, once price read these words, once price broke structure. And we don't have any form of structural liquidity or structural inducement above this place. Price is going to turn this place towards internal range liquidity because price has rated this high. External liquidity towards internal range liquidity. Then this place is going to turn to the next what higher high. The next higher high. I think this is very clear yeah this is very very clear and now once price broke this place once price broke this place there are some traders that will be looking for a sell here no that's not how to trade they'll be looking for a sell here then price is going to give them the reaction what price does here what did the price did here? The price was price created inducement. The reaction, the reaction created liquidity, which is the internal liquidity for this to move. So this reaction you saw. Price only created liquidity, the internal liquidity, because they know many traders will categorize this place as what a break of structure. Meanwhile, this is not a break of structure. No, 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 no. This is not a break of structure. This is on internal liquidity for this. Then price will move. Very, very simple. I think it's getting more clearer to us. I think it is getting more clearer to us. Let me save this thing and send it to you. We are still going to chat to, to live chat, and I promise you we are going to live chat. But I need to draw this structure for you guys to so that you can understand. And already you said this thing in your live chat, you know what to do. So any question on this before I move to the next structure? Any question on this, please? No question. Okay. Let me move to the next structure.
this one is very very simple very very simple i think i've i've talked about it before very very simple one two three okay let me ask you a question now let's 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 work together here i would like if you are not in a noisy place i would like you to to unmute yourself if you are not in a noisy place I would like you to unmute yourself so that you can answer this question. We have a break of structure. Break of structure, then another break. Now, if you are meant to sell, if you are meant to look for our point of interest, okay, let me leave you something here. If you are meant to look for our point of interest, which point of interest are we are, are we going to be looking sell from? B. That, that B from B. B from B. Sir. Because uh, it's just a, an internal structure. We use it as an investment for All right. This is it. Yeah. All right. Yes. And apart from being internal visibility, you can see equal high. So this is what price is going to use for us. There's 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 going to be a reaction, and the reason why there's there's going to be a reaction is because of traders that that, that that put their words entry around here many traders that doesn't know about the liquidity concept who put their entry around here and not just many traders support and resistant traders because they will categorize this as strong support so it's got here it's rejected yeah rejected yeah rejected or resistance sorry a strong resistance zone so they will categorize this place as strong resistance zone and you can see for resistant traders they will be trapped for SMC traders that doesn't know how to go about uh, structural liquidity they will be trapped meanwhile this is the point uh, proper part of interest course this is internal rate liquidity from external to internal very very simple i think this one is clearer to us let me save this also okay oh uh, the next structure if I must be live, okay, not not now, sure. Okay. You can miss yourself now. Thank you. I don't want to waste much of our time. We, 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 already, we already know this is break of structure. This break of structure, break of structure, and all. Now, let's say price has been following the other flow. Yeah. Price has been following the right, the other flow. Price has been following the other flow. Yeah. We know that price we want to make use of here. And it's got validated. Now, look at this. We have higher high, higher low, higher high continuously. But now we know price we want to make use of here, and it got validated. There are some times that when we get to entry model, there are some entry that doesn't need inducement. Yeah, there are some entry like that. You don't need inducement. Once you see it, you know, okay, I don't know. At, at first, price is going to use this to move 
to my direction. Then later turn this as in this way later. But first, when we get to entry model, you understand. So price broke this low. We have a broken structure to the downside. And not just to the downside. Because this place can stand as inducements for this. Are you with me? This place can stand as inducements for this. Yes, and you can see price already what broke this place also. So we have it because this place can be internal liquidity for this. This is the last IR low. What price broke this last IR low? That means it's indicated that we are in a downtrend. We have a what a strong bearish movement. Why price move back to its gates? Uh a point of interest. So later price can use this as what inducement for this and push very very simple and there are some scenarios like this that price we keep following the other flow we keep following the other flow when price is going to come it's going to clear everything and come like that so that's that about that very simple structure so let me move to the last structure that's that's it that's that's the last one so okay let's talk about how we analyze on charts we'll do this today and uh this uh let me clear this analysis or let me use another i don't want to play my analysis let me use another charts okay now we have different types of time frames we have yearly we have months we have weekly we have daily we have four hours one hour 30 minutes 15 minutes five minutes three minutes and one minute okay now let me tell you something and i'm going to give you the logic behind it after market close on friday and markets open on Sunday stroke Monday, we are going to have a new structure for that particular week. A new structure for that particular week. A new opening market for that particular week. So if you want to start your analysis, let me say from Monday, on Monday precisely, or from whatever uh make sure you start from weekly make sure you start from weekly in case you want to be a swing trader um let's see uh you know let me pick wrong one i have i i able listen me this i'm coming jay usd cd yeah able again ah, I for fear okay so whenever you want to start analyzing on weekly time frame start from monthly and uh i'm going to tell you how to be about it i'll start from weekly sorry now looking at this structure you don't need everything here you don't need everything here what you need it's just these activities. It's, it's just these activities that you need. What you need is just these activities. Now, looking at this, we have price mitigated something here. Though mostly I don't use weekly. Also, I start from daily. Yeah. Daily four hours. That's what I do daily four hours then we have a break of market structure a break of market structure now looking at this structure after having this break on weekly time frame we will be expecting a retracement which is this now let's say you have your point of interest around here on weekly time frame you are 
you have a point of interest around the weekly time frame are you going to wait for markets to get to this level from weekly before you trade no 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 no, no. you don't have to let's say you have a break Let's say you have a break of structure and you know what you'll be doing already. What you need to do is to move towards daily time frame. You are just coming to weekly to see the overall trend. What has this particular peer been doing for the past one week or month ago? Now, looking at this, you saw that okay, you are in a downtrend. Come to daily time frame. Coming to daily time frame, you need to what? define all this structure you need to mark all this structure right here okay a break of market structure if it has mitigates you mark it out of liquidity you mark it a break of market structure you mark it if it has mitigates you mark it out of liquidity you define all the structure so that when you get to a point in this daily time frame when you get to all mitigated area on your daily time frame okay you will know there should be you know we mark this place from weekly this is the weekly normal point of interest the strong point of interest from weekly now this daily time frame we only cause a retracement so let's say we have a point of interest around here from daily time frame daily time frame we just cause a retracement so another buy point of interest to continue the weekly journey then boom because you want to pick everything from what higher time frame the daily time frame will not cause a break since your point of interest is from weekly and on weekly time frame everything here has been mitigated for everything to, to have been mitigated here on weekly time frame doesn't mean it has been mitigated on daily time frame it doesn't mean it has been mitigated on four hours time frame so so far it has been mitigated on weekly time frame and you saw it that okay this is the unmitigated area on weekly just now you'll be following other flow but the reason why I don't really work on weekly time frame is because sometimes I don't have time to prolong on charts. I go straight to the point. So now on daily time frame, whenever you want to analyze, let me just let me just give you this. I don't let me stress you. The goal is to be profitable. Yes. Don't let me stress you. The goal is to be profitable. You can start your analysis from daily. Daily and four hours. If you want to be a swing trader, okay, you can go to the weekly time frame. But as intraday trader, you can start from daily and four hours. Now, looking at this structure, looking at this structure, on daily time frame, we have a break of market structure and ounce of liquidity. Ounce of liquidity. But looking at this structure, do we have, after having this break of structure, do we have any internal rich liquidity? On daily time frame no but if you go to shorter time frame this is internal liquidity this is internal liquidity please mute yourself please then we have a point of interest on daily time frame now this point of interest from daily time frame doesn't tell you it is going far because this is a retracement coming from weekly so this retracement coming from weekly weekly it is going to cause another thing like this 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 daily time frame will do something like this because every point of interest on daily time frame we what we work they are going to work they are going to work price will not invalidate any point of interest from daily time frame any unmitigated point of interest even though you are buying for long or you are selling for long once price gets to this point of interest you see that price is going to react to it so let's see now once you see it on daily time frame like this and you know what you are doing go to four hours again okay you have marked out on daily time frame and you see from daily time frame that okay you are selling now define this structure on four hours you have ounce of liquidity and break of market structure this place are stand as what a what a strong guy that price was not read because it's under liquidity and it's broke structure price was not rewards read it can you see here we have a break of this eye can you see we have a break of this eye? So, if you are selling from daily time frame, just know you are not selling to break this rule. 
just when you are selling to do something like this i also have activities here can come and break or can break up it depends on the other flu but don't 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 be greedy don't feel like uh, you want to catch all the moves to this level at the same time learn how to follow other flu now this is a strong eye on four hours time frame you can see i marked out this place from what direct time frame now this is a strong eye i'm still going to tell you the secret about four hours because four hours determine four hours is the leg to weekly daily break of structure any structure you mark on four hours it is coming from weekly and daily directly yes any structure you mark from four hours it is coming from daily and weekly directly so instead of it to be stressing yourself on weekly time frame just let weekly time frame go let it go unless you don't understand the structure you are getting from daily of hours or you want to be a swing trader now on the daily time frame i saw this okay this has been mitigated and i got my confirmation from lower time frame like 15 minutes or five minutes where i've gotten confirmation but on daily time frame you know this is this is going to be a long sell and let's let's see from here to here it is like 283 pips so don't mind all this trend don't mind all this thing they can only cause short retracements pull back pull back building liquidity they are building liquidity or whatsoever in price want to do i'm not even controlling price so now you can see this is coming from four hours from daily this is coming from daily but you move to four hours to check uh the overall trend the overall structure now looking at this we have out of liquidity and break of structure in fact we have liquidity inducement here we don't want price to read these words high this is a strong guy for price clear it out which indicated that this area is strong has given us a what a strong bullish momentum this area we have we have a break of market structure and all bms will be all from bigger time frame all bms will be so now even though you are selling for long just know all these points of interest are likely to us to to re, to, re, to reject your your trend we have liquidity. this place first can decide to use this place because of this liquidity so just know if you are selling or you are working on higher time frame trend make sure you mark out all the higher time frame point of interest also because price is likely to us to reject from them you can see from here because what i told you this little area or that block price reacted to it and move created liquidity Pretty liquidity now we have inducement price can do something like this once this place clear uh once this liquidity make it us this place and start buying i don't know let's see can you see price did not even give us confirmation now price until this loop which is a break of structure on a shorter time frame if you go to shorter time frame you see that it is a break of structure now press ready this blue we have uh inducement here we have inducement but i won't categorize this place as inducement because it is coming from higher time frame and to me it is a flip entry because there's a supply here on a shorter time frame i'm still going to move to shorter time frame there's a supply here on shorter time frame so once i mark this place of four hours if i see a confirmation i will sell because i know where i'm targeting I know from here i pick out this place from daily time frame it is a sell so everything i'll be looking for will be a sell to this area to this level let's see what price do can you see price wanted it as inducement it stood as is inducement for what inducement for this or mitigated week can you see so yeah this liquidity created inducement for this unmitigated week this unmitigated week if it goes to 50 minute time frame it is a hey, who asked me or who sent me kai wabunde 
Mas Divine mau panah lagi selimi. Hah. Wow. Let me go back to my four hours, please. Oke. Okay. So from four hours, we have what? Let's continue. Price under this place to so continue, but there's something I want you guys to know. There are sometimes this aspect you are waiting for. Price will not come near them and change the other flu immediately. There's something that we don't take note of from the chat. That we don't take note of from the chat. As long as we don't take note of those stuff, there are sometimes we will not mistreat. Now, look at this area. Look at this area. We have ounce of liquidity and break of market structure. Ounce of liquidity and break of market structure. Now, this area did not mitigate. This place is a strong eye. This place did not mitigate before my market break it out. Now, we have some area here. It, it might not be clear to you on... Uh, on four hours let me go to daily time so maybe i'm going to see okay. okay now look at this look at this this area that we do not take note of from this angle is likely to reject price this is a breaker because this level there's a structure here this is a major high we don't want price to read it, but price clear it out without giving any reaction. Whenever price is coming back to this area, price is going to react to it. But what we'll be focusing on is this place. Now, this breaker block is going to be what price is going to make use of at first. Because price cleared it out without respecting it. It's when I thought to breaker. And what did, what, did, what did I mean by breaker? A same supply or a field demand now a field structure a field supply or a field demand this area this supply zone field us so because it is a strong we have a stronger here so price is supposed to do something like this then push or break or so everything but price cleared it out with momentum so even though you are selling for long take note of this angle be it on bigger time frame or shorter time frame or sometimes you will be like what what reject price from here i did not see any other block from here now take note of this angle now later if price is coming back price is now going to use this piece as inducement for this but the funniest part is price might not come there anytime soon but once you mark it out this is on daily time frame mode. i mark it out on daily time frame even on four hours time frame, it, it, it shows clearly. Even on four hours time frame, it shows clearly. Now we have almost get week, week here. We have a uh, point of interest here. Then this demand, we have point of liquidity. So we have this area that I wanted the liquidity. So you can see from four hours time frame, if you are defining this structure very well, that's why. Whenever you're analyzing, don't joke with all structure, all break of structure. Don't joke with them. 
be it on five minutes, be it on three minutes, be it on one minute. No, don't let me go to one minute. One minute is trash. It is just for entry. Now look at this area. Normal. We will not take note of this angle. What we'll be doing is this aspect. We'll be looking at this aspect. But price will not come here. This is a breakup blow. Daily breakup blow. Yeah, you can, you can so that you understand what you are doing. You can label it daily breaker block. We have other block. We have breaker block. We have Quasimodo block. We have a uh, uh, base can do. Reclaim can do. It's also known as Quasimodo. So you can mark it as daily other uh, breaker block. Just so that if you are selling for long, price is likely to make use of here and continue to buy. So if you are selling from daily time frame, I told you something. Even though you have the mindset of swinging your trade, make, see, make sure that you, you are taking profit out of all, all mitigated area. Check it. Now we have this, uh, this inducement for this. This doesn't mean this sale will be long because we are around the daily breakup block. Let's see. Mitigated. Now for price to mitigate here, it doesn't mean it is going to clear this place. And why did I say it doesn't mean it is going to clear this place? Is because we are around this breakout block and we have onto of liquidity. On four hours, so onto of liquidity. This thing might not happen as your presence, but whenever you want to analyze and you saw this structure, you know, okay, this is what I'll be doing on shorter time frame. So after the after having this uh out of liquidity, I think I, I'm going to get a paid trading view next week because this one is already giving me problem. I, I should have moved to 15 minutes now to explain better. But if I move to 15 minutes, it is going to clear us to uh, where we don't expect. So now we have ounce of liquidity, and whenever we have ounce, we are expecting a long buy. Now we have ounce on four hours time frame around this breakout block. We have ounce of liquidity, which gives you a conference of like or more. We are, we are in a long buy. So this we stand as inducement for this area or Assuming this is happening on the shorter time frame, I would have used this place as what? Entry. This inducement as entry. I put my stop loss at the back. But it's not done here on four hours. Because we have a big stop loss. That's four pips. It's not done. And I'll be targeting this eye. So from here to here, I have a trading range too. Well, I'll be targeting this eye because this is happening from what? From higher time frame breakout block. Or from year to year, I can take out my profit around here first. But we know this is from monthly time frame and uh, from weekly time frame, and this retracement is coming from weekly. And we have a target, a long bias, a long target. So you can you can you can target this eye because it is coming from weekly time frame. You have a long bias. So let's see. Yeah, as we this is. This thing is happening from shorter time frame. I'll show you on G today. As much as it's happening from shorter time frame, my blouse, I will have considered it as entry, but it is not done. So we'll go to shorter time frame for entry. Let's continue. A sell. Can you see? Price use this place as inducement for this. You can see. And let's see. First target, yeah. First target, yeah. Eat. How many pips? 122 pips. Can you see? Then the next target, this high. But we target, there are some things also we don't take note of. Now, let me show you here. Let me show you this price action. Look at this. Look at this country. It's rejected back. This one, this country did not break it. This candle did not break it. This one haunted it. We have ounce of liquidity here. Even though you'll be buying for long, learn how to take profit. Now, this place is going to be my profit. I'll not be targeting my PL because we have ounce here. Price can get here and what reject. Be it on bigger time frame or shorter time frame. Please take note of this thing. This candle haunted it. So, even though you'll be marking it out in full, you can mark it as in full. And take your profit around here because we have imbalance at, at least 
you can take your profit out here. You target more than 76 pips. The, the, the goal is to be profitable. Uh, but because you want to show off uh, so that they can see that I've been sweeping this thing for a very long time. If you want to swing, please take partial first. You can leave the rest. So you can take more profit here and the rest here, whatsoever thing you want to do. But learn how to take profit. Yeah, first target, yeah, second target, yeah, third target. And if you are swinging to whatsoever place you want to swing into. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? Now, this is happening from four hours time frame. Let's say you did not take out profits here. See the retracement. You'll be scared. You'll be scared. I mean, where price move, move back for what? A re entry on top of liquidity, then pull, pull back. When we get to entry types, you understand this. A re entry. So, learn how to take partial first. So, this thing is happening on what? Four hours time frame. As may have the opportunity to go to shorter time frame, it would have been better, but I'll still go to shorter time frame. So, can you see? Appartention on the enter. First TP, the imbalance. Price can move, get there and start selling. Can you see? What did I say? I don't even know before saying it. Because if you are targeting this eye, you don't see price, you, you see this imbalance on, on four hours time frame. And meanwhile, this, this candle won't tell liquidity. Either on four hours time frame or shorter time frame. Do not joke with candle that wants liquidity. Do not joke with imbalance. Don't joke with them. If you are taking your profit, take profit before you near that imbalance. Yes, don't near it. Don't near it. Yet. Don't feel like I want to. I want to eat everything and eat it before you. No, just do something like this. You can mark fifty percent of this area from your imbalance to this level. Then set your uh, uh, take profits around here. See, if you, you are done. You don't care if it is going to be or not. Now looking at this, you know it is coming from this is coming from daily time frame. It's under liquidity, even though on daily time frame and four hours time frame, it's under liquidity, and this is four hours imbalance, it's under liquidity also. So it, it is possible. See, 98% possible that a sell is going to occur from here. This is coming from higher time frame. A sell is going to occur, and now we have a break of structure on four hours time frame. Take note, this we stand as inducement for this is a breaker block. It's it's happened from a breaker block. So price can clear it out. So if you are buying from here, be careful unless you see good confirmation. If you are buying from here, be careful. But price created inducement here for this, and likewise, it's poor, it broke its structure. So let's see, let's see. Let's see. Can you see? Like I said, be careful. Because it is coming from higher time frame imbalance. And this that occur from the daily breakout block or four hours breakout block, it is going to turn inducement for this. So now we get a reaction from here. Let's see if this reaction will cause another, uh, another buy confirmation. Okay. Let's continue. Can you see? It, 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 it gave a buy confirmation. It gave a buy confirmation from here. Can you see? We have on top of liquidity. This has come to the major low. So every activities around here are strong. Every activity, this is major. Uh, yes, this is strong loop because it's on top liquidity. Even though from four hours we have. More. that's good that's good so now look at it here we have ounce of liquidity this place under liquidity ounce so this area everything here is strong because this place that under liquidity has made everything here strong so we have a confirmation if you should go to shorter time frame there's a confirmation around there for the buy that we continue the trend you know i told you something that like this thing might not happen now not instantly not instantly but if you if you set your psychology that okay uh you want price to read this place you are looking for sell 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 you want to read this blue what if price is not ready to read this blue learn that also it is not every time price will come back just know that whenever price is coming back with aggressive move 
it is going to this place is inducement it is going to be inducement why do i think it is going to be inducement it is because it is coming from a breaker block and whatever movement that came from a breaker block we turn as inducement so now we have a confirmation around here on shorter time frame the confirmation we have us what's in our buy where are we targeting we are targeting this liquidity at first this liquidity because we have another area here a major high why you like all this place a major high we have tons of liquidity and break of structure so if you are targeting it you're targeting it assuming this area give us a confirmation then i can be selling to read everything here okay let's let's move can you see so let's say you you, you, you got a confirmation from here and you are buying don't forget after analyzing on four hours time frame go to 15 minutes or one hour i will, I will cut it I will, I will make everything lively don't worry they are targeting here now you have analyzed on four hours time frame you have a break of structure you have analyzed on four hours time frame then you go to four hours, a small smaller time frame for your entry you can see here you are targeting this liquidity so even though you are going to 15 minutes time frame let me go to 15 minutes just i don't like what price is going to give us that this can be direct us to where we don't we don't like i'm on a wall i need page trading view card it's not going let me go back to four hours please i'm sorry but I think you are getting some points like that. Flowers. Now you have like two hundred and nineteen pips or more. That's enough. If you use good lot size that's enough for you and this thing it is possible to work up in a day this tip is possible to, to to hit in a day now you can see price reacted to this area and now let's see something there are some things we don't take note of now let's see something i told you about qm qms are very very important qms can can cause rejection massive rejection on higher time frame even though you are trying to buy long or sell long now looking at this structure here we have a break of market structure and uh ounce of liquidity see this structure price wanted it and broke structure Give us something like this and boom now can you see the qm here can you see a what a break of market structure onto liquidity can you see the qm from four hours that's why i said all this time frame all this uh point of interest we don't take note of are very very important and price created this area so price has already created uh entry for us which is this which is this now let me do this this so even though i'm selling for long this was our qm i will not what i will not joke with it i will not want to swing to clear this way why Price gave me QM and broke structure. It broke this words. Strong guy. Can you see? Price broke this strong guy. It's a flip entry. And this flip entry created an inducement for us. Now there's some there's something we call primary point of interest and secondary point of interest. Primary point of interest is if price move back into your internal structure. That's the primary point of interest. But the secondary point of interest is if price makers of the breaker block these are filled supply 
or this fleet here that's the second point of interest so when we get to those level you understand now price created qa if you go to one hour save you will see it is a strong qa a strong qa out of liquidity and break of market structure so this area we have inducement for this unmitigated week but i will not be waiting for price to get here before i can what i can buy why did i say i will not be waiting for money this inducement once price read it as it is on shorter time frame i would have set my entry here but based on confirmation let's wait and where would i be targeting i'll be targeting this eye why did i say i'll be targeting this eye because this eye has already filled me it failed to break these words okay we don't know yet yes we don't know yet i'll be targeting this eye yes why would i be targeting this eye we have what qm zone we have qm zone so i'll be targeting this eye then cbs threatening a self movement around this point of interest i marked from four hours let's see let's see can you see see this move are you getting me I, like are you grabbing see can you see inducement for this unmitigated week when we get supply and demand also i will i will explain better what unmitigated weeks are I explained to my old students, there is money here, there's there's many activities here. So there are money here, they kept money here. So this on unmitigated week will be what I'll be what buying from. See this inducement for it from it. You can see this there's a clearer structure. So this this place, if you should go to 15 minute time frame, you will see that this place gave you confirmation to sell to clear this liquidity and boom. Target this eye. How many pips? One and two pips. That's what I'll be targeting. That's what i'll be targeting in fact this thing came back for what a confirmation for traders that that miss this entry it's a confirmation and uh, which is a break of this eye a break of structure sorry a break of structure internal liquidity then boom this area the stop us at the back I see. We are moving. We are moving. Now, look at this. There's a hunt. But still yet, it has not kicked you out. Because your stop loss will be at the back. You can see. There's a hunt. And what caused this hunt? Number one. Let's see. Look at this area. Do we have QM? We don't have QM, but we have all mitigated one hour week, which is this. This all mitigated one hour week, it is going to co cause a, 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 a rejection because we have a break of structure. Then, after having this break of structure, do you have any internal inducement? Like, do you have a structure like this? No, we don't have. So, this low. This loop we stand as inducement. And the reason why this there's, a, there's, there's this push is because of news. This is a manipulation. Whenever they open news, they will open news with manipulation. So even though you are in this tree and it's kick you out, it is not your fault. Most times, that's why I don't like trading news. So tomorrow is NFP. I am not going, I'm going to trade if I still early entry i'll quickly take my partial profit and break not break even safe i will lock my profit far away let's say i got my entry from here from this area i will not set my break even here i will set it here why because i don't want the drop news it is going to clear it so if i set break even it will come out in loss because that spike will not respect stop loss so even though i set it here it, it is going to respect me or better still 
I what I stay away from trading once it's swift party. I'm out. So any other thing NFP wants to do, I don't want to know. So yeah, yeah, your first target. You know, I told you learn how to take profit. Learn how to take profit. Now, this all mitigated week will be my first target. My first take profit, which is 93 pips. At least enough is enough. I've I've tried. Even when I know I'm going here and I take out my profit here. If this one kick me out, a break even. Let us break even also. If this thing kick my break even out, I will still be in profit. Yeah, I'll be in profit because I've already picked out some partials. Enough money. I've, I've taken out a lot of money. So even though this thing came back here, it, it has not still hunt me out. But news break it back down. Let's continue. Target it successfully. Can you see from four hours QM? From four hours what QM? But news, there's a manipulation here. This is a manipulation. This is a manipulation. Four, four, four hours what? Four hours QM. Now let's say you 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 don't take note of this area, or you joke with this area, and you are trying to sell to this place. Can you see? First, first we kick you out, but I'm still at this point of interest. I I read this eye because this eye did not give me a good structure. We don't I don't have inducement a break of structure right. I have this QM here. So this QM is what I'm I'm working with to read this eye. So now if this eye is going to give me a sell, look at this blue. This blue has turned to a strong blue. Why did I say this blue has turned to a strong blue? It's haunted liquidity. It's haunted what? Liquidity. Can you see? So from this blue to this eye, if I have a retracement, let me see. I'm coming. From this low to this eye, I have a trading range. On four hours time frame, I have a trading range. I have a trading range. Now, I will still not be looking for sale. Why? I have this strong low here. On the price break this strong low, then I will say, okay, this supply zone, this four hour supply zone, this four hour strong guy. As was giving me a good bearish movement, it has cleared the structure. Are you guys with me? Yes, okay. I'm coming, please. I'm coming, please. Allow to speak. Okay. Let's go back. Now, I have this strong guy here. I have this strong low. Yeah, from this eye to so this low, I have a trading range. Yes. But don't forget, it is coming from weekly what, time frame. And I know this is strong guy. This is the point of interest I'll be looking at. So even though I will be selling, if I'll be selling to clear this low, no, I won't do that. I will not be selling to clear this low yet. Once I seal, a strong confirmation then i will sell from here to read everything here and take profit around here because it is possible for price to clear me out then it is possible for price to respect this please come back before clearing this blue can you see so now from this blue to this eye i have a trading rate i have a strong blue here very very strong and i can move to shorter time frame i don't want to move to 15 minutes because of the uh nonsense it is playing now look at this blue we have inducements any point of interest below this inducement is what i'll be what expecting price to make use of you can see we are this this thing is inside my discount zone i have this point of interest here and i have this inducement here now assuming i don't have this inducement don't forget i have this liquidity but I told someone something yesterday. It is not every time price will come and claim liquidity immediately. I have this omitigated week here. Yeah. Which is 
the discount level, the equilibrium, and the what? The premium. So at this zone, price has entered my what? Discount level. So if I'll be looking for a buy, you know what I'm looking for a sell. I will just be selling from one hour or 15 minutes to clear this inducement. I'm not selling long until this low is being taken out. That's why I said, learn how to uh, mark your structure. Don't, don't just come to market and feel like because we have this thing is coming from higher time frame, I am swinging to higher time frame point of interest. No. Follow the other flu now i have this inducement and this is inside my discount level if i have a confirmation around this area then i'm going to buy then if i'm buying from this area i know i have inducements yes i have inducement i can try this blue and i will know later everything here we turn to liquidity for this let's see i'm not moving markets but to my little knowledge let's see We have we have price has given us self confirmation. You see, you can see, you can see price is not even come back. See, see, if you go to the shorter time frame, there's no any value structure here. Now, price makes us here this unmitigated week. This area, there's no any value structure. Can you see lower high, lower low? We don't have a BMS now. So looking for a long sell sale is still very risky. Before I can look for a long sale, I want price to come already this group. So now this place will turn to inducement for this area. For this area. But if you have QM around here, forget. Price might not come here anytime soon. You can see price has not even come back. Because the reason why I'm not looking for a long sale is because the retracement is coming from weekly time frame. So all I'll be looking for is bullish move. Bullish move. Because I know where I'm going to. I know I still have point of, this is weekly point of interest. The value on everything has been mitigated. But I'm only using all this perspective on daily time frame, four hours time frame, one hour time frame to trade a retracement to continue the uptrend. And as you can see, price is not come back. Price make use of this equilibrium level, but from it is very risky trading around this equilibrium level. Uh, this sorry, this premium level is very risky. Now we have a break of structure, and price continue moving, continue moving. Now that if you have a point of interest, <laughs> Ailey, don't disturb me, please. Now you need to take note of all this thing here. People, don't disturb me. See, and we have. Or mitigated was oh, area God. here. I can't want you. <laughs> can you see? If I have a confirmation here, this place can give me a long sell. A long sell. Where will I be selling to? I will not sell below this place. I will only target all this lead to other blocks. Because all these other blocks you are seeing, eh? Hey. Um, I have a mitigated week here, but I will not be using this place because this place is is intermediate what structure. It, it doesn't happen in a, in a good form. It is a void, so I will not use any entry around here. So even though you will be taking profits, see, take note of all these things. Even though you see a confirmation, take note of all these foolish small points of entry, all these other blocks, all these small, small other blocks, eh? Take note of them. So even even though you seek self confirmation, just take profit around here and leave the rest. If it is twenty pips you eat per day, if it is thirty pips you eat per day, it is okay. You can see this is like one hundred fifty two pips. It is okay. I don't know. Okay, let's continue. If there is a self confirmation, then I'll be selling. Fine. Though I know this place. Price will read everything because it has broken a major structure and everything here. You know, I told you equilibrium. I'm not be trading from premium. This is still around premium, so I will not be trading from premium. Now, this point of interest, we have this liquidity here, and we have this almost point of interest. It was one that caused this massive sale. 
to read everything here then we'll still be buying if you are buying we know that this is our movement this is our counter trend we are buying we will continue the work the whole trend but at least make sure you mark all all mitigated area first as your words as your target all this please price can get there and reject massive you can you can start taking pressure from all these please then even though you are targeting this eye please make sure you are taking pressure from all this zone we don't take note of now we have this please price has cleared out everything here and uh we have this liquidity price content is liquidity but still as my words my premium zone as for me i will not be trading it even though you see your confirmation if you like you really, you really want to, to tell yourself the kind of trader you are but as for me i will not be trading it you can trade it if you like still as my words premium zone but me i will not be trading it i want price to come to equilibrium zone or discount level before i can work i can trade it can start going because it has given confirmation as i'm saying it here for me i will not be trading it never no matter no matter the confirmation it, it, it's true i will not be trading it no 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 can you see let's say you have you have yeah yeah you, you are on one hour time frame let's say you have marked it out and you want, you want to start buying into this area can you see it is inside premium and once it is inside premium i don't need price to come and do rule for me no any price to come and do the rule for me now marking this space they'll be like it is inside the words your discount zone for me no 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 this is where i'm mad before that price is going to activate so i still wait here but i still have a high here so from this eye so any previous two year there's a trading range and then some now you can see this is inside my 50 percent which is the equilibrium price so if i see a confirmation here i can risk it you can see price is not even accept me risking price moves towards this area meanwhile price is coming from higher time frame supply zone so can you see in liquidity price clear every price clear all the liquidity that is why it is very risky sometimes to trade around liquidity area equal low. so because we have inducements we have all these inducements here you can see price still have liquidity towards to grab and we have all mitigated week this all mitigated week if you don't see a confirmation which is like a structure inside it number one a structure like this inside it don't take it this is number one number two a qm i'm coming up a qm a qm if you don't see a qm no if you don't see a qm don't read it either qm or this structure Don't trade it. And this QM will hunt liquidity for you. You can see we have this place. For traders that just set limit instantly, see this reaction. If this thing will be giving me confirmation, I want to see a break of this eye. Then, boom. I will not be targeting something much. I will be targeting this what? All mitigated week first. Because looking at here, we have imbalance. So I'll be targeting this area first. Even though you are buying for long, though this thing is coming from higher time frame also, and this is also coming from higher time frame. But this has turned to a sell. What if price is coming to rate everything and make use of this for hours time frame? Before it will not continue the long journey. The long journey. You don't know. So don't be greedy sometimes. You don't need to be greedy. You need to follow other flow. 
you need to follow all the trend market trend okay now even though i'll be buying from here this is a strong loop i know i told you if i'll be selling i'm expecting price to clear this strong loop for me though i've i've sell from here to this area so i'm waiting for a good confirmation to start buying so even though i'm buying from here i will not joke with this area now look at all these consolidation aspects everything occurring here that means buyers are not strong to break this place everything occurring here buyers are not strong to break this place so even though i'll be i'll be buying i will still wait here until price break this eye if price should break this eye for me then i will have another confirmation to continue my trend that's how i trade and let's see even though i see a confirmation from here see one action two pips is not something small so i'll wait for confirmation i'll wait for break of this eye which some people call a joke but to me it's a qm let's see if we have a break can you see suppose it has broken this low so for you that you not wait for confirmation and you are trying to buy instantly because you know it is a strong glue you are doing it yourself no it is not done can you see the way i'm marking those structure it is not done it will get more clearer to you when we implement well sorry when we apply uh what is this demand liquidity fear value gap inefficiency supply and demand other block it will get more interesting when we apply everything but now we are just talking about structure but i'm using all these things to explain you can see we have, we have a break of this major loop but do we have a break fully yet price can stay on to this major low and start going you know we don't have a break here too can you see but let's say you you are trying to buy here i put your surplus around here you you price would have taken you out then if you put your surplus around here hypertension see one hour so you, you are waiting for how many hours here like how many days hypertension don't keep person safe now looking at this area we have a break of structure see this see this thing this candle we have almost getting weak. Price can use it and start selling. Price can use this place as inducement for year. So until I have a break of this eye, that's when I'm going to consider a buy to so any other zone. Let's continue. Can you see? Price until this piece a little bit. Price until it into bit. Now we don't have a break of structure. I want to see body break. And I told you about body break of structure. Yeah, price until it. This is a hunt. And you can see we have a break. Now having this break, I'll be looking for a buy. But not a long buy. I'll be targeting all, all this area of interest I don't take note of. All this thing, eh? Hmm. All this thing. I'm targeting them. So even though it is a long buy, I'll be targeting all this thing. Okay, look at this. We have lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Have a break. We have QM. We have QM out of liquidity and a broker structure. So everything here is what I'll be waiting for as confirmation. Price can use this piece as inducement. Then boom. Can you see? Can you see? Now, why did price make use of this candle? This is it. You know, I tell you something about breaker block. Now look at this stru structure. Look at this structure. A break of market structure. A break. If you are meant to sell, this area, this area is where we'll be selling from. Or yeah, this is supply. Now price reacted to it and fail to break. It failed to continue the trend. And it's under liquidity and start buying. This is a breaker block. And apart from it being a breaker block, if you should go to shorter time frame, you will see. Look at this imbalance. See this, see this, see this void. 
see this look at this imbalance 50 percent of it is what i'll be using at first because if you are marking this place you can miss entry she gets but inside the 50 percent if you should go to 15 minute time there's a confirmation there's a confirmation there so now everything here is what i'll be using and can you see boom where am i targeting first this area i'm targeting this place um this place i'll be setting from here if i have a cell confirmation i'll be sending from there can you see so if i have a, a buy entry here and i target this area i've taken out partials i've taken out partials and i know i'm targeting this unmitigated week i'm not doing no juko kuru to target every eye fine i know price is going to clear them fine but at least to be on the saver side ah uh, let me take out this profit one of the two pips in a day if i use 10 dollars as the way i used to use my 10 dollars size ah uh, that's 10, 10 12 000 plus profit ten thousand dollars plus in a profit ah uh, the cash itself will be so let's continue if I see, can you see? Can you see the retracement? Can you see the sell? Can you see the sell? Can you see the sell? Now I have a major high. Yeah. Why did I say I have a major high? We have ons. And we have a break of structure. So from this blue to this eye, I have a new trading range. From this place. So this please i have a new trading range so i can since i know my buyers is a buy my buyers is a buy if i see a buy confirmation i will now clear everything here can you see let's let's continue let's continue because no let's continue this thing is coming from a, 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 a bigger time frame point of interest. So if I have a buy confirmation, I can buy. But you can see buy is not uh, uh is not advisable now. Okay, this area. Uh, there's something price make use of here that's one thing about price if you go to short time frame you will see uh a point of interest around here and look at this candle from here to here i'm coming you ask your question not now from here to here we have what imbalance the reason I've not talked much about imbalances is because I'm not feeling structure. So from year to year, we have imbalance. So even though I'll be looking for my entry, I'll be looking for my entry inside the imbalance, the fifty percent of the imbalance. Can you see? We have imbalance. So the fifty percent of the imbalance will be my entry. But as long as I don't have imbalance around here look at this candle this is a, for price action trader this is engulfing candle engulfing candle and we have imbalance so i'll be using the 50 percent as well i don't have engulfing candle and i don't have imbalance this is where i'll be look, looking at this candle this other block this black candle because it's haunted liquidity fine later this thing will sit on as inducement for this other block sure 100 sure because this candle haunted liquidity and price has not mitigated but at first price make use of this imbalance 50 percent of it where would i be targeting i'll be targeting this high i'm not going long before i can go long is when I, I see price break everything here that's when i'll be participating for a long buy are you getting me can you see as for me i'm out already i've taken out my profit well the reason why I price rate this place is because now let me say this 
I've taken out my profits here in the essence that I've taken out partial. I've taken out partial. You know, I know it is a long buy. Yes, I know it is a long buy. And I know where I'm buying through. I know where I'm targeting. So, but at least I've taken out my partial because we cannot say price can get here, give sell confirmation and start selling that. And now we have the words. We have TP hit and a retreat is already coming inside this place again. We have a break of structure. A break of structure. A break of structure, yeah. Because using line charts is a broke structure. I told you to always use line charts words. I have a break of structure. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. There's something I want to do. The last video I I the last mentorship I did with my old students, the video I'll send it to you all tonight. So that after this one, you can go and watch that one on market structure though. Yes, I'll send that one too. So that everything we you, you will watch everything I understand. So now I have a book of structure. After having this book of structure, I have this on this one on the liquidity. But it's other liquidity is not my problem. It's other liquidity is not my problem. Are you with me? It is still going to serve as inducement for this. For this. But I don't know if price will be coming there anytime soon. From this low to this eye, I have a trading range. From this low to this eye, I have a trading range. Why no price is going to induce this for this but i don't know how soon i don't know how soon i don't know how soon you can see this area is still the one giving us the self confirmation this zone price has not break it so I, have no, I have no reason to be looking for a long buy. If I see sell confirmation, I will sell to to maybe to this blue or to, to read this blue. I will sell. You know, converse. Don't worry, you are you ask your question. Let's say as for me, I'm out already. Yeah. I'm out from this blue. This is my liquidity here. I'm out from this liquidity. Because price can host this liquidity and start buying. So I'm out. So if you want to give me a confirmation here, I'm still here for you. You can see price can host this liquidity liquidity and start buying. And you can see. See, there's something about this trading stuff. Price can, might not come here anytime soon, but anytime price is going to come here, it's still going to respect it. You can see. Okay, if you are waiting for price to come here because you are not looking for a sale, you want to read this too. No, let us take partial and be what, be patient enough to see to study what price is doing. If you are trying to sell from here, I was selling from here to read this too. You are doing yourself. You have taken out your uh, your pasha for that day. Rest, calm down. Trade load the wrong go anywhere. You see price on the liquidity inside this trading range from year to year, and you saw that price has already on the liquidity. So we know this is inducement for this. But what if price is not even ready to come here anytime soon, and price already on the liquidity? The journey is, is to break this eye. Or oh, this is a weak eye. The journey is to break that high. Can you see? Now, price can now come with aggressive to break. That is if there's a good point of interest towards to reject it. But if there's not any good point of interest to reject it, price is already going back up. Oh. So because we know this is liquidity, we know it is inducement. 
But what if price is not ready to cater? Yeah, and here we have new freedom and we have quantum liquidity. So price has already haunted us and it has given confirmation. In fact, after breaking this break of structure, it's used, it's, it's also used this thing. This breaker as entry. As as entry. Let's, let me cut it. After I saw this is the supply that is supposed to, to, to be. I'm I'm longing this too. Uh -huh. Let's say after price, I'm breaking it out to. Let me let me let me record. Don't let me call, get you guys confused. Now look at this supply. Look at this. Uh, can you hear? This is a major high. Ounce of liquidity. This is a major high. Then once price read it out, it will turn as the next point of interest for us to to, to use. Para Josh, I'm running. You can see price has cleared this eye out. We have this flip entry, this area, this candle. This the reason I call this flip entry is because this place already filled us. I talked about this thing yesterday. This supply filled us that we filled. It filled. So this place, as done as flip entry, it is going to be our point of interest. That's why I said there are sometimes you don't need you don't need uh it is not every time you need inducements. And where will I be targeting that high that I know is my next week high is where we was targeting. Soft, I'm out. For the six pips, I'm out. Now I know this place is not valid anymore. Price and in, it's not valid anymore. We still have liquidity here. Price can haunt this liquidity and what and start selling. That's why you need to take note of all zones. You don't be greedy because you know it is a long buy and you still want to buy for long. No, if we have good price action, if as long as there's no uh, and all this thing is not formed, as long as all these things are not formed here. You can, you can, yes, you can try buy for long. Fine, we know it is a long buy from this area. We know it is a long buy, yes. We are buying for long. We are buying to clear this eye. But at least, learn how to take out Pasha. And you know you are targeting this eye as an intraday trader. Once you are housed for that day, just know the next day, you still be looking for buy. Any stuff you are looking for is a retracement you still be looking for a buy and you know when you are in, a, in in an uptrend and you are looking for a sell it is like you are countering this words the uh the trend that's what we call counter trade you are countering the trend but when you know you are in an uptrend and you are looking for that trend buy buy that's the pull trend pull trend so now we know we are targeting this place yes we know but at least there are some activities that are called here. Okay, this has given a sell confirmation. We sold, we are not selling for long. We still have many activities. See, on of liquidity. See, on of liquidity. After this, on of liquidity, see, break of structure. That's a QM. It shows that this loan is strong. Even though it's still going to stand as inducement for this. But it has showed you that this loan is strong. Why did I say it is strong? It on of liquidity. As long as there's no any on, there's no any on. As long as this just break like this, then of structure and move back then we can say it will stand as inducement instantly but it's on 10 it has also used a strong loop and in fact yeah, it's on the that's 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 a good momentum that's a good uh, potential so yeah 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 there's many activities i'll call here so even though you are buying just wait for price to break if price break this place then uh -huh, your long buy has started because everything here we just create a short sale. They are fake. 
We have a block of structure. Can you see? We have a block of structure. Now you can look for another word, another buy. We have inducements. We have this entry. We don't know maybe this place is going to hold. Because now looking at this block of structure, this area here, we don't know. This is external liquidity has been broken. So from this low, which low, uh -huh. from this low to this high, we have a trading range. And do not see, do not uh, joke with your range. As for me, I will not be trading around this premium. I'll be trading around either equilibrium or discount zone. Premium, I'm not doing anything inside premium. Even though you break structure, you are still premium. Okay, now let me let me let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. Now, being inside premium, it's created something for us. Fine, like I said, I said I will not be doing anything inside premium. But when you understand price action, now look at this ounce of liquidity. If this eye is been broken, then let's say we have a confirmation to risk a buy. Price has broken this eye. Then can you see? Well, I won't like to use it's very risky. Since you don't understand, yeah, since you are just new, don't let me don't let me talk about this place. You are new. You guys are new. As for me, I can take this kind of entry, but you guys are new. Don't let me see because I, I know what I'm teaching you as now give you all these complex they are complex yeah don't let me give you this complex structure so me i'll be buying from here to this nearest place to this eye so this place as for me i'll be buying from here to this place you can see final cp has already been hit can you see? Fine, we know we are what we are targeting this eye. So, even though you, you start trading from here and you have taken out Pasha, you know you have locked the uh, the remaining ones. And alongside, after locking all this one, you have gotten from all this place, you still be getting new entry, new entry, new entry. You are getting you have locked, you have taken Pasha from here, you sold again, you break this eye, you, you took Pasha, you 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 bought again. You took partial and the one you you secure uh, you uh you, you all those one you 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 did not close and still there running for the final tp the reason why it is very good to to, to take partial is what if they change algorithm what if price did not clear this eye and start selling from here so learn how to take partial in the sense that that sometimes trade you can see this breaker was the one that gave us all this move -up. To this year 530 pips you can see and this place caused a retracement back from year to year from this blue to this eye how many pips you get 392 uh, pips so now final tp was being it and you you still have a what a target here because you know this thing is coming from weekly so everything you'll be looking for is what is bullish trend but because you are uh, you are on a bigger time frame, and bigger time frame is giving you uh sell confirmation, you can go to 15 minutes for confirmation, you can go to five minutes for confirmation, you can go to 30 minutes for confirmation, you can go to 30 minutes for confirmation, or one minute for confirmation. It depends on the uh time frame that suits you. And you know, we are targeting the long, this is a long buy, but alongside from this buy, we are picking buy, we are picking sell, we are picking buy marking structures. You know, I'm not. After working on this structure, you can see I'm not joking with every omitted area and all, all strong eyes and strong glues. Even though this place is inducement for this, because it's under this place, it has talked to strong glue and it gives us a QM on the uh, out of liquidity and break of structure. So, why would I be expecting price to not clear it out? Fine, I know it is inducement for this, but this has talked to a strong glue because it under liquidity and broke structure. It gave me QM. For it for this low to want liquidity 
and for it to give me QM price action. It is strong already. So after it's under this piece and I see confirmation, I'm buying. Then later in future, it cannot re I will still mark it down. But I still know price will still come for it. Anytime. Even though I'm selling from weekly, anytime I get here, I'll still buy. Even though it's not a long buy, but I'll still buy. That is why it's good to, to, to choose some peer you, you like to trade. Can you see? See the massive move. This sell is coming from unmitigated area on bigger time frame if you check. Yes, if you check. Oh God. Another option market. Another option market price. This is still strong. Low. Price came back. Imagine, still this, still this strong sell from higher time frame uh, point of interest. See this strong sell and. We have liquidity, sell side liquidity. When we talk, get to liquidity, I'll talk about sell side liquidity and buy stops liquidity and this point of interest. You know, these are these are our strong low also because it's under liquidity and what it's broad structure. So it's our strong low. We are not interested. You know, these activities are as well gone. So this is the next strong low. And you see, price under the thumb up, boom. Where am I targeting this eye? If I'll be buying, I'll be targeting this eye. Let me just call Let's see the previous activities. Ah, oh my, I need premium trading view code. This is premium also, but now for fake person, and I go buy them. Now, I buy me, they give me. Now, I buy me, they give me. It's not me, but. The price got here and did not pay this high at least. Okay, let me see the reason we have imbalance. Can you see? That's why I said all these imbalance. Don't do not joke with them. So if I truly take this trade, I will I'll take my profit around there and see. This piece that I told you I'll be buying from. In fact, price got there, they don't give me confirmation on price read it out. So see the activities. Price is not give confirmation. Price with it out and boom, massive sale. Massive sale. Then back to this area. As many days ago, I see this confirmation. I'll take it. You can see, I told the price might not come here anytime soon. But we are still setting your uh, your psychology because you want to read this blue. And you know it's coming. Almost you are doing yourself. Can you see? Price has not moved here at all. Now, see the weekly point of interest that we are waiting for. So, even though you are buying, even though you are buying, look at this trade buying, selling, buying, selling with confirmation. So, you get there. I know from here, from this weekly top, uh, uh, point of interest to this low, this is your week. That, that, this, I'm coming. It is coming from weekly that we mark. So, this place is this, uh, week low. So, you'll be targeting this place, the sell. So, USD is losing what? losing value but because you are targeting this flow doesn't mean you want to target it at the same time all these price actions here mark them break of structure mitigated one unmitigated kill him everything liquidity mark everything because when price get there price can start reacting price can start reacting from here to another zone from another zone to another zone price will not even come here anytime so in the next three years in the next 10, 5, 50 years, price might not come here. Price can break and start going. 
So that's how you follow your words. All that food, math structure. We are not done. Though. We are not done with structure. We are still we are still going to talk about structure on on Saturday because I missed yesterday part because of my health. So if you have any question, please ask me. Let me go rest. Let me omit some people. Mark all mitigated and unmitigated area, all liquidity. Mark them out. All structures from daily to four hours to one hour to 15 minutes to 30 minutes. But there's something, yes, let me say this. Let me say, okay, let me let me dedicate that to uh, yes, or Saturday. I'll finalize that. And I'll be sending my previous market structure video to the group so that you you understand how I analyze from daily and uh from four hours to fifteen minutes. Yes. Now we give you the full updates. So any question, please. Any question, please? Okay, no question. I think we are all cool. Then let's call it a night. Let's call it a night till Saturday. But that Saturday will be afternoon, please. That Saturday will be afternoon. Thank you very much for joining. Good night, boss.